Hi! In this video, I will be talking about Carve EQ from Kilohertz. Carve EQ is an audio plugin for all major DAWs and it's a 31 band graphic equalizer. It has a workspace layout uh, consisting of several panels, and I will be going over each feature in detail, but first let's uh, do a quick overview. At the top, we have this bar up here, and the leftmost uh, is a preset browser. Uh, this is where you load or save your own presets or factory presets. Then we have undo redo buttons and a handy comparison function for when you need to compare two different settings to make sure you get the best equalization possible. The main area of the plugin shows your input spectrum uh, in stereo mid side channels right now, and it has a grid which represents the standard 31 bands common in most equalizers like this and the white line in the middle represents your EQ curve. To the right we have a scale in decibels and on the bottom we have the scale in hertz as well as actual notes. And to the far right we have this output level meter as well as gain and mix controls. Both gain and mix can be modulated from your DAW. On the far left, we have a toolbar with a few different tools. The Sculpt tool, the Point Select tool, the Pencil tool. These three are for actually editing your equalization curve. Then below we have a Reference tool, uh, where you can load reference tracks to see how other people equalize their songs. We also have the match EQ function where you can simply use the equalization from another track and apply it to your own. We also have a pan and a zoom tool and at the bottom there are these uh, stereo selection options. So if you want to EQ in left right or in mid side mode. At the bottom uh, we have a small bar as well. So the first long gray area here has uh, the tooltips, if you will. So if you hover any other component in Carve EQ, you will get a, uh, you will get a d description of what it does and how to use it. So for instance, frequency in nodes is the scale and frequency in hertz. And on the main area, it says hold the left mouse button to draw. And this uh, tooltip will explain all the features if you hover them. Over here you can set the detail of your spectrum. So it's starting out at third octaves. You can use full octaves or you can even see the exact spectrum. You can set the fall off rate, starting at fast, slow or even off, just building up. And we can also set the UI scale if we like and resize the window. So that's it for the overview and uh, please check out the other videos as I go into details about each and every part of this interface.